Orange and Interone, which is what I was named after. Um, and it, that's just a little cabin on the, the western side of the Alaska Range. And then from there, we go through kind of central, central Alaska, we call it, where there's a good amount of snow. Or on the, right on the western side of the range, though, the wind comes down off the mountains, and so it blows pretty much all the snow clean off. And so every year, there's at least a section of around 20 or 30 miles where we're going over bare ground, over tundra, rocks, and just ice and gravel. So that's always an exciting section. Um, but then we, we get into kind of central, the, the central region, I guess, um, where if it's going to get cold, that's where it could potentially get the coldest, just because it's so, so still, no real big weather patterns moving around as much. And then we get onto the Yukon River. Um, this year we'll be taking the northern route because it's an even year. In odd years we take the southern route. And then we'll get onto the Yukon River at Ruby and travel down the Yukon to we get to Caltech. And that, it, it can be really windy on the Yukon, but it can also be, I mean, it, it can be, you know, anything. You never know until you're out there. But um, it can also be warm and soft and slow, or it can be just a perfect trail. So. You never know. And then we cross from Caltech to Unalakleet and get to the Bering Sea coast, where then we travel along the coast for the rest of the way till we get to Nome. And you you think, oh, we're on the coast now, um, so it must be you know flat and easy going from here on out. Well, really, that's there's a lot of hills. There's pretty hilly sections on the <coughs> coast, even though you think, okay. Well, coast, okay, we're going right, right along the beach, but we, we do cross over lots of hills, um, like from Unilakli to Shaktulik, and then from Koyak to Elam, there's it's pretty good sized hills, and then the last section is kind of rolling hills, but by that time, they seem really big. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so that's kind of the, the trail, and then there's, there's various awards given to, first to McGrath gets an award. First to the halfway point in either Cripple or Iditarod gets an award, and then first to the Yukon River, and first to the coast. Those are all kind of incentives to, you know, have people racing or just rewards for good performance.